Okay, in this video, we're going to do the opposite to this one. We're going to have a circular pattern at the base with the corrugations and just the circle at the top and then add a bit of reinforcement to add some strength because it will be a little bit too flexible. Okay. New sketch. Horizontal plane. Circle. 150. Cancel. We're going to make this construction. Needs to be construction. Now we're going to use the spline tool to do the curves. It's just a bit of guesswork. They don't look too flash, but we'll fix it. Cancel. That looks okay. Create a circular pattern. Objects. Center point. Change that to 33. Way too many. 27. Three. Okay. Now that has actually snapped in, I think. No, it hasn't. Right, snap it in. Now it has because it's all blue. It actually looks okay. Finish sketch. Go home. We're going to loft up. So construct an offset plane. We go 180. Go home so we can see it. We got a new sketch. I'm just going to do a circle. Make that 210. Finish sketch. I'm going to create a loft. Bottom. Top. Okay. That looks okay. Now, anywhere along this timeline, we can modify it. So if I want to make it a little bit higher, I can right mouse click on there and go edit feature. You can take that up to 190, a little bit higher. Okay, and we can make a circle, edit sketch. We'll make this 230, enter, finish sketch. If we shell that out, it's probably going to be a little bit too weak once it's 3D printed, but we will shell it. Right, the next job is we'll put the hole in the base for this bayonet fitting, the B22. So I'm going to rotate this around, do a new sketch. Circle tool, make that 29, finish the sketch, press pull, take that in, anything over 3 mils is going to work, and it's on cut, okay, go home. Now if we go to 3D print this, this will probably be too bendy, unlike the bottom where it's got strength and corrugations. So what we're going to do is put a strengthening piece in there. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Click on sketch and I'm going to try and select that face. Now we're going to draw a circle that snaps onto that edge. Then we're going to draw another circle that overlaps here a little bit. So that was 230, we might make this. 250. Finish sketch. So it's 10 mils either side. Then I'm going to do press pull. I'm going to select this one and that edge. I'll zoom out again. I'm 
and we're going to lift them up. Bit of thinking there. Okay. Now that's going to give it the strength. Now if we go to 3D print it, it's going to take a hell of a lot of printing support to hold that edge. So I reckon we're going to put a bit of a, a ball nose on there or a fillet. So we're going to select that edge and we'll try two for a start. It's going to be heaps more so let's do eight. Could probably go nine because you can still see a little flat bit there. It was 10, but we don't want to go to 10 because it might spit the dummy. But okay. And we might also fill it that top edge a tiny bit, see if this actually works. So that should be able to 3D print. I reckon it can kind of start coming around that edge and support itself as it prints without having to put in big supports. So we'll go home. So that's giving it its strength to that top, and it also looks pretty good. I'm going to give this uh, a name. So I'm going to save it. Now we're going to right mouse click save as a mesh, make sure that's on this STL binary and it's on high, okay, save it. Now like I said before, that should be fine for 3D printing because it doesn't have to support that curve, it should be able to layer it up as it 3D prints and get around and support itself as it goes. Thanks for watching another video.